Fun part about having a basement is sometimes you get wildlife critters. Just came down, was getting ready to open it up. Got to come and take a look at the lawnmower. Looked over, saw a little black snake. So, we got to work on getting him out of here. We can't leave him in. It's time to take care of the chickens. First thing we gotta do, we gotta give them some water. And I'm gonna mix in a little bit of apple cider vinegar. The reason we put the apple cider vinegar in is twofold. One, it kind of keeps down on some of the mold and things like that in there, but it's actually also healthy for the chickens. It just gives them a little bit of a, an immunity boost. Well, it's Tuesday, it's day two of our Homestead Work Week Challenge, and we've still got more things to do today, but we've also got a special treat. The kids have some friends coming over. Uh, they're gonna do a little visit. Uh, two of our boys, or one of our boys and one of their boys is gonna do a camp out. Uh, two of their girls, along with one of our girls, are going to do a big sleepover. So we've got a fun, special treat planned for today, but we gotta get to work. Friends have no. arrived. How you doing? Hello. We're excited to have some friends that have come to visit us today. Um, the Roberts family we're very close to, and uh, their kids are very close in age to our kids, so they're all playing. You're going to have a great time today. Uh, and a few of them are going to stay with us overnight. The boys, some of the boys are going to do uh, do a camp out tonight. So we're really excited to have them here with us. So what are you all going to do? We're going to go ride um, horses on a trail ride, and we get to do it special just for us. The ladies going over there. Where are you going? You're going somewhere you don't know? Are you going with the big girls? Yeah. You got your hat on? All right, work continues here. Fun part about having a basement is sometimes you get wildlife critters. Just came down, was getting ready to open it up. Got to come and take a look at the lawnmower. Looked over, saw a little black snake. So, got to work on getting him out of here. We can't leave him in. Okay, snake's still here in our basement. Not entirely sure, we haven't got a good look at it yet, but we're gonna assume that it's not helpful, not good, and we're gonna try to get it now. Right. Got his head. Chop, chop. Well, that was exciting gotten the snake he's just a little baby snake but we just can't take chances with that um, I'm not the best at snake identification but I know it's not a black snake so I'm gonna go on the side of caution that he is not a good creature for us to have in our basement so he's dead now I'm gonna take him on up and I'm gonna give him to the chickens all right girls here you go
Anybody want some of that? Well, that's kind of funny. <laughs> At moments after we left the, uh, the the body of the snake over in the compost pile, um, the chickens were kind of milling around, but they weren't entirely sure. One of them grabbed it and took off running, and all of the rest of them chased her around out here. So they clearly they clearly like the uh, the snake. They are still fighting over it. Look here. Well, there you have it. Just shows that even a dead snake is popular among chickens. So Nathan, who is very handy, uh, has taken a look at my wheel. He's gonna show me real quick. He's already actually gotten the wheel off. We were talking about this earlier. So he's gonna give me a little bit of a helping hand here, which is really helpful to me. Then all I gotta do is get a new tire on it really quickly and I'm back in business. So let's take a look. All right, we are it's getting later in the day and it is time for us to set up the tent. These boys are excited to be able to camp out. So we're gonna go ahead and set that up now. Uh, we'll be building a campfire before too long. They're gonna have a great time out here tonight. Well, we're wrapping up our day. The sun is quickly going down and we've got two very excited boys that are ready to be able to shoot their BB guns. We didn't get a lot of work done today, but we've done a lot of real living today. And uh, you, you've noticed that we've talked about uh, cultivating real life. We've mentioned that a few times. That's what we're trying to do today. We want these kids to be able to enjoy one another's company um, and to be able to have fun experiences like a camp out. The girls are gonna get to do a, uh, a special time, uh, a big sleepover. They're playing with dolls and all kinds of things. And these boys are gonna fire their BB guns here shortly. And then we're gonna build a, a nice little campfire out here. So come on, let's get started. Thanks for joining us for a great day of cultivating real life and for day two of our homestead work week of 2017.